Hello, this is R3 Kane, and this is a guide to using Ventrilo. The first thing you'll need to do is download Ventrilo. So open up your internet browser. In this case, I'm using Mozilla Firefox. Go to the site ventrilo.com. Uh, once you get there, it should look something like this. On the left side will be a download option. Uh, come over here where it says client programs. You're going to want the one that uh, matches your processor and uh, operating system. In this case, um, I use the 32-bit one for Windows. If you're using Mac or a 64-bit processor for Windows, then you'll want one of the other ones. Uh, once it's downloaded, go ahead and install it. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. Um, I have it downloaded right here. Install is pretty simple. Most people should be able to figure it out. Just run the executable. It's not like it's zipped or anything. Um, once it is installed, if you have to restart, go ahead and do that. If not, uh, just come up here, go to Start Ventrilo, and launch it. Uh, you'll see a window that looks like this. Uh, when you first launch it, you won't have any of those three information things set up. First thing you want to do is set up a user. So uh, right-click there, hit New, type whatever name you want people on the Ventrilo server to see. And uh, this is optional, but I advise you do it. You can type a phonetic. This will make the Ventrilo voice uh, pronounce your name when people enter the server. So if they're in-game or something, they'll know who entered. Um, make sure that you play it and test it so that it's good. Uh, nothing will sound perfect, but you can make it work so that it's identifiable. Uh, once you've done that, uh, go back to the other screen just by hitting OK. It'll have your new user there, but go to the server. Um, you'll need to set up a new one again. Uh, when somebody gives you a Ventrilo server, you're going to need to put in the host name or IP address right there. Um, for example, something something dot clan halo dot net, and then port number that they give you and a password if necessary. Uh, you'll just pretty much throw that in there. And if all that information is correct, then now you'll just be able to hit connect, and it will work fine. Um, my example won't because it's not a real server, but if that does work, then you'll want to uh, probably go back to the main screen and go to Setup, so you can set up your microphone and how Ventrilo will work. Um, I advise you use the Push to Talk mode, that is right there, that checkbox, and if you do, then you'll have to set the hot key right below. I like to use the left shift key because in Halo it's unused, so it's nice. Uh, you can turn on or off key clicks if you like. If you keep them on, then whenever somebody presses their mic button, then it's going to play a key click, and it can get annoying. But it's nice to tell when somebody starts talking. And other than that, the rest of the options are pretty straightforward. If you don't know what they do, don't do anything. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, go ahead, leave a comment if you have problems. This is Kane.